Using reggae and dancehall as an example, we're going to show you how you can learn from these genres histories to protect your music. While reggae music has reached global audiences for decades, many of the authors of the original reggae songs were underpaid or even not paid at all for their music. This happened due to a combination of lack of international copyright enforcement and the channels through which many reggae tracks became popularized. Many reggae tracks were used in dancehall, a subgenre of reggae. Dancehall music became Jamaica's dominant music in the 1980s and 90s. Central to dancehall is the DJ, who raps, or toasts, over a dub, instrumental reggae tracks. There are five parties involved in making dancehall music. The original dub track artist, the engineer, sound system operator, selector and or DJ, and the singer. Original artists created dub tracks. This was commonly reggae artists. Engineers edit, remix, and remaster the dub track and may add to the musical arrangement. Sound system operators curated the tracks to be used in the dancehall performances, as well as choosing DJs, selectors, and singers. The selector or DJ spins the track and keeps the music going during dancehall events. The singer toasts or talk sings their own unique lyrics and melodies over the track. Subscribe and turn on notifications for the next part in the series to learn which music copyright and publishing rights each party can claim.